We are recording. Good morning. Welcome to another sacred space. Um, I'm Bob, as you all know, and I think the first thing we do is we do our welcome song. God welcomes all strangers and friends. God's love be strong and it never ends. God welcomes all strangers and friends. God's love be strong. Good morning. Uh, and this morning, we're, uh, the theme was uh, what Nikki was going to talk about in her sermon, or, or talk about in her sermon, was, or going to talk about in her sermon, is about how the disciples were all hiding in um, a locked room. They were in a locked room. And all of a sudden, Jesus appears in the middle of them. The they would watched him get crucified. He was gone for three days, and he came back. And this is a little bit later. And according to the Gospel of John, he, he just came in to a locked room. And I wonder how he did that. And I wonder what the Gospel writer John is trying to tell us about things that are locked, like locked hearts and locked and being not getting along with one another and things like that. But anyway, but nature has all kinds of ways. And one of the things we're going through right now where, where people are locked in their rooms and, and kind of afraid and locked in their houses is we got this um, virus going about, going around. And um, there are ways, one of the ways that they're saying that we can protect ourselves from this is to wash our hands. And I'm wondering how that actually works. I was wondering, I was going, well, how does just soap and water work? Well, it has to do well, well, let's watch and see. So I'm going to give the camera to my lovely assistant here. And we're going to come over to these two tables here. And I'm going to see. Okay, you're going to need to come tilt it this way. There we go. I think we got it there. There we go. Now we have it. Okay, I'm going to take my this finger here, and I hope you can see it, um, and put it in, this is all germs. These are all germs. It's actually pepper, but these are germs in the water. And as I put it in it, look at that. Ooh, they get all over. Let's wipe them off. Now here, over on this plate, I have nice soapy water, okay? So I'm gonna put my hand in the soapy water, then put my finger in here. Whoa! Did you see how the germs ran away? It's not magic. It's because germs, basically, or the virus, the virus is a strand of RNA, which is actually the building blocks. Okay, we'll put this back down over here. We've done the experiment. And I don't think you needed a big, long biochem lesson there um, on the, uh, but, but actually, um, it is kind of cool because the, the, um, what all a virus is, is just a piece, it's a building block of life, really, an RNA molecule covered with uh, fat and um, protein. And soap is also fat and protein, and, they're, and they don't get along. So what happens is the soap scurries through the water looking for fat and protein to hook up with, and the fat and protein um, run away. And so that's how we wash our hands. That's how we get the viruses and stuff off of our hands, and it actually kills them because the soap breaks down the fat and protein on the RNA molecule and it and it dies. All right, so wash your hands. Okay, now we come to that part in our little get together where we give our say a prayer to God. And here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. All right. I think I've already given a class on why this works. So, like, I'm going to, oh, no, it, it works better in the evening, actually. Um, thank you, God, for the wonders of nature. That's what I pray to. And to all of you that are out there going to school at home and 
missing your friends. Someday, it's Diana Ross saying, well, we'll be together. All right, now, let's put, now we're gonna put out the flame. Oh, we got good smoke here, but you all can't see it. Um, smoke rising reminds us that God is everywhere. All right, let me give the intro. Now let's do our going song. First line. with you. Take care. God